If you want to get rich faster than the average individual in 2023, if you adhere to these eight money secrets of self-made millionaires, you will quickly become wealthy. In this video, we talk about a self-made millionaire who shares eight money secrets rich people know that most of us don't. Welcome to our YouTube channel. Before we get started with the video, don't forget to smash the like button, share the video, and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get started. Number eight, they don't diversify their investments right away. Diversifying your portfolio by investing in a variety of different stocks, funds, and other investments is typically a good idea. But as the richest people increase their net worth, they frequently invest their whole fortune in their own ventures before diversifying as their income increases. For instance, Elon Musk staked the entire $22 million he received from the sale of his first business, an online business directory called Zip2, on his second venture, an online banking service called X.com. Number seven, they know that debt is for businesses, not people. I did not rack up debt on luxuries like designer clothes or expensive mansions while I increased my net worth. I didn't want to squander money on interest even if I could pay the bills. I preferred to invest everything I was making in ways to make more money. For me, that means investing my money in my company. I also bought my properties with cash, and I've never had credit card interest accrue. Debt might sometimes help you make money if you're seeking to start a business by giving you access to assets that generate income sooner rather than later. Number six, home ownership isn't always their first investment. You might believe that owning a primary property is the American dream, yet wealthy people rarely make it their first priority. I believe that home ownership doesn't necessarily offer the same return on investment as alternative options. I have three residences that I own, but I didn't get them until I had the means to pay for them. Number five, instead, cash flow real estate is the place to protect and grow money. On the other hand, investing in commercial real estate that generates a monthly profit from rent after paying your mortgage, property taxes, and maintenance is a terrific method to increase the value of your assets. These assets can be used to generate passive income, and they are frequently simpler to sell than a principal residence. Finding a buyer who can picture themselves living there is essential when selling a primary house. You only need to locate a buyer who wants to benefit when you decide to sell a productive rental property. Number four, they always buy in bulk. The wealthy are prepared to spend more money on each purchase to obtain a better price per unit and avoid wasting time on repetitive, pointless tasks. This is applicable to both your personal life and your business, as wealthy people frequently make big purchases of supplies or equipment. I purchase everything without an expiration date in quantity whenever I can. Number three, they invest in their network. I have never received investment from a stranger, and the majority of the properties I currently own were bought from sellers who chose me over other qualified buyers because of our prior interactions and their trust in my ability to close. Others will trust you and have greater confidence in your abilities as they get to know you better. Better chances, quicker decision making, and bigger margins are the results of this. Number two, they are never content. One of my pals has worked with some of the richest people in the world as a serial CEO. He once responded to my question about what they all shared by saying none of them were ever pleased with what they had already accomplished, but instead focused on the next thing that could be accomplished. Rich people never feel satisfied with their prior accomplishments. They think there is always room for improvement. Number one, they don't waste time trying to do everything themselves. The wealthy are aware that time is the only genuinely limited resource. There aren't any more available for purchase. Thus, they learn to properly outsource and delegate to nice, educated people who will trade their time for money in order to maximize their time by letting go of the urge to control every little detail of their business or portfolio. So that's all for it for today's video. I hope you all like this video. Please let us know in the comment box about your opinion and do recommend some topics you want to see in the video in the future.